Hey guys, what's going on, Stefan Plays here, and welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. Today, we are going to be covering the new updates in Pokemon Party, guys. It's been a really, really big update the last evening, and a lot of things have changed in the game, outside of the game, and in deep inside of the code. So, guys, without further ado, let me go over all the new updates that have been added. For the first one, you can already hear it in the background as well. I'm going like, to put it a little bit higher. There is a new soundtrack added to the game after the main theme has gone uh, over. But as a quick disclaimer, this one probably will not be here for a long while because it will be added maybe to new areas in the future, etc. But for now, it will be there for you guys to enjoy and listen to while you're playing Pokemon Party. The second big thing, guys, is going to be new locations for all the Pokeball loot. As you can see over here, we're on a VIP server and we have a few of the Pokeballs laying around over here. But there are all new spots if you're like familiar with the old ones, which I literally, I literally knew every single spot in the game. Uh, it is not possible anymore to find them on those spots because those spots have been changed and maybe will even change even more in a few days because like they're wanna try to make it frequently that they're gonna be changing. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that they're now on different spots in the game. So be careful guys for that. Uh, if you are hunting for those balls, or if you're like one of the people that like to camp on one spot, then the ball spots have actually changed. Besides like this one, this is one of the few ones that has not changed. The same with uh, one Pokeball that is going to be spawning over here uh, has not changed as well. I'll make a video as well, guys, covering every single spot where all the Pokeloots will spawn uh, in the near future. Uh, and the next thing, guys, is going to be, of course, if you guys didn't know it yet, you can actually hold your Pokeball. And there's a new animation attitude, which is really, 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 really awesome. So if you, for, like, if you would throw the Pokeball before, so like around yesterday if you played then, uh, the Pokeball would just go through the floor and do nothing, but now if you throw the Pokeball, it will actually bounce and it will roll around the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, of course it will disappear after a while just to keep the game without, like, from having like flooding Pokeballs everywhere. Like, unlimited ones of them. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, as well, there was a really big bug involving the boosters that they would actually stay permanently. Uh, that has been fixed as well, so the people that have abused that had, like, a free, uh, little free advantage. So don't worry about it anymore. Like, that has been fixed, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so that's another really big thing that has been changed. But I think the biggest and most overall uh, change that has come this patch is like, I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but the map has actually changed quite a lot. Uh, some buildings have been like, uh, have been changed a little bit, I, like this part over here, as well as some scenery. The trees are different as well. They're looking a little bit, a little bit more polished. Because <clears throat> before you could actually see the lines of the trees, uh, as you can see like, like, one of, like these lines, like on, on the edge of a bench. They are now removed from the trees. They're now a little bit more smooth. I don't know if I really like it because I like the old trees. But I guess as well as the team. As well, um, the lightning, as you can see, is different. I've asked them um, if there was, like, if there was intentional. Because like, I think I re really like the old version of the lightning. Let me know, guys, down below what is your opinion on them. Because I think the, like, really sunny... Uh, environmental lighting they had before really fit the game and I think it's a little bit right now It's a little bit too too bland like and it needs some more uh, it needs some more uh, like sun Like right now the sun's over there is really bright, but the like the game itself Only on some points if you look like this this is really bright But like most of the game is just I don't know it's not as bright as it should be like before the update so that's also a really big change the um as you can see, like, the environment has been changed. There's, like, a lot of mountainy area has been added uh, as well. As you can see over there on the docking area, the crates now have, uh, like, a few more different colors as well. It's a little bit more vibrant on this building over here. I don't know if the flag was there. You should not call me on that. But that has been added as well. I think. I'm not really sure. As well, they did a really cool thing uh, to this water part over here. They added some, uh, some lily pads and other things. They still kept, of course, the dude down below there. With the Pokaloo, the Pokaloo actually has shifted from the right side to the left side, which is pretty interesting in my opinion. So that's a shift in another Pokaloo, but of course yes, there will be a guide out pretty soon with all the Pokaloo locations. Uh, the the windmill is still there, which is looking pretty cool, but the, I think the what looks really awesome is this waterfall. I don't still don't really understand why the water doesn't continue all the way down there, because like, where does this water come from? Like, where does this water go? It doesn't really make a lot of sense, because right now, it literally cannot really go anywhere. Uh, I think it should maybe be connected, like, under, like underground to this part over here. It won't make more sense, but it's fine. It's all good. Uh, and as well, I think the biggest one, I'm not really, like, I, I miss him, guys, but the big Snorlax has been removed. And he's now chilling over there. We're going to pay him a visit right now. As well, uh, maybe pretty soon there will be running shoot edits as well, because, uh, like, I've been requesting it. 
Because because of the new Poke Pokeloot spots, they've been spread out a lot more than they were before. Before they were like, most of them were all around in this area, but now they're like, uh, like they're up there near the volcano, which we're going to take a look at as well in a little bit. There's one over here, like you have to walk a lot of distance right now to get all the Pokeloots compared to the last update. As you can see overall, as well, we have 157,000 coins, which is pretty cool. Uh, over here we have the lighthouse as well, uh, the lighthouse, the observatory, sorry, uh, on the top. Which is like a new uh, little pathway. I really like the update they did on this part uh, because this was just literally just a plain area. But now they actually made it look like a really cool rock formation. I think this this area should still get a little bit more love, uh, but I think that will be done in the future. Because like this, I didn't even know about this update with, that it was coming. I like I knew about a lot of the updates that were planned, but I didn't know about the the whole graphical overall, which is looking absolutely awesome. So we're gonna take a look at the volcano as well, which as well holds one pokelude for the people that are interested. In that. Uh, so then we're gonna go up there in just a little bit. Uh, there's a little bug right now with uh, to, like how you can get up there because uh, this area is actually a little bit too high to climb on. Uh, you have to be like uh, doing your best really hard to actually get up there. Maybe we get it one shot. No, see, like it's actually a little bit too high because so I, I like asked for this to be lower than it said. Yeah, we should, we were already planning to do that, which is awesome. Uh, so this is the volcano. You cannot go inside here, sadly. Uh, but if you want to, which I noticed, you can actually walk up the mountain a little bit. Like it's really slowly, and you can get it over here. You can take a little bit of a peek behind behind the map, uh, but like it, there is a barrier over here, so you cannot actually get outside of the map. So there's a, as well a little beach section over there, which is really cool, because we don't really have a beach, sadly. Like, I really want a beach. Could be really cool. And again, we have the uh, the soundtrack in the background, the new one, um, which is really, really cool. I think this soundtrack is more part of like a beachy area, or like a cavey area, which you're going to explore together with your Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, like the Pokeballs have been changed, and as well, if we go over to the menu itself, uh, the store is still the same, there's nothing changed over here. Um, I'm not really sure if it always was 10% off or 20%, I thought it was both 20, but I'm not really sure about that. Um, but a big change over here, uh, if you guys saw my Poke loot, um, what's it called, my, my, uh, my Pokeball loot video, like there, as you can see, like you can scroll a long while with uh, your Pokedex, like entries, it's just like your sort of Pokedex in, in, in a sense, like all your Pokemon, now you can see there's a lot of space for them, but for the Pokeballs there was an issue that you can, couldn't actually um, scroll all the way down, like it, it stopped like over here somewhere, and you couldn't even see all your Pokeballs, but now that it's been fixed, uh, the interface now will actually just look at how many Pokeballs you have and make it bigger depending on how many you, can, how many you have in total, so right now I can uh, do it like another 100 and I should no, not, only be, not even be like up to here, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's like a really big upgrade because before I had the issue I couldn't even see my Pokeballs because I bought 100 packs if you guys didn't see the video yet, go check it out uh, that's one of the biggest 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 changes in my opinion because now I can actually see my Pokeballs and I can look at my old luxury ball and just throw it around and have some fun with it which is pretty cool um, and another uh, really 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 cool thing they added two new coats to the Twitter codes for you guys to enjoy as a little uh, compensation for all like the for like the, the bugs, the glitches, the changes, etc. 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 As well, like the the um, XP and money game has been uh, fixed for how much you should get if you should pop double coins plus VIP. It's been a while ago, but I thought like I'll just I'll just mention it in this video as well that it has been changed. Uh, and meanwhile, but I'll go over the Twitter codes in just a little second. I'm, I'm like thinking like, did I miss anything else of the updates? What has been added? I don't think so. So we're gonna go right to the Twitter codes. I'm actually gonna check a little bit um, back for you guys if I didn't miss anything. I don't. I don't think I missed anything. Uh, oh yeah, this as well. Yeah, yeah that, that's the last thing that has been changed. Uh, let me go over there. So that's well, the game has added some trash cans just to have some more environmental like looking to it. I'm still waiting for some NPCs to be added, because he likes trash cans. You can actually do it, like, what would happen if you throw a Pokeball in there? Can we get that? Okay, we can actually... It would be pretty cool if you could get, like, a, a cool animation sound or something like that, if you actually managed to throw the Pokeball in the side of the trash can. I don't know. It would be pretty cool. But we're gonna go to the Twitter codes, guys, which is, of course, one of the main and important things for you guys. If you guys don't play a lot, of course, I don't think any one of you guys watching right now has 158,000 uh, coins. Uh, we granted totally for them, guys. We didn't buy any... Um, any like coin packs or anything like that with robux don't worry about it like it's really possible to get this amount of coins just by grinding it which is pretty cool um 
So we're gonna go over to the Twitter codes. There are two new Twitter codes. I already claimed both of them. I'll actually, uh, I'll show you guys as well what I got from them, which is pretty, pretty cool. So the first and uh, like it's not, it's not the best one, but the second to best one because there's two new codes, guys. The first code that has been added is the capital M. Uh, o N K E E Y N S monkeys is the first code, and if you redeem with that one, you will get a free rare pack to open up. Uh, what I got for my rare pack was a Porygon, which is pretty cool. And then we have the second code as well. And if everyone watched uh, Russo, you know what it's going to be. It's going to be Scoops, guys. So uh, S C U O O sorry B Z for the last one that's already redeemed as well. And this one will actually give you a ultra rare package. A lot of people got legendaries from them. Ed Cedera, I'm sad, I'm sad. I'm glad, I mean, sorry. I didn't get any legendaries because I didn't want to get it off camera because I didn't even know what the codes were doing. So I was like, I just redeemed them. And that's why we have our little Tyranitar over here because we got a lot of guitar. We're chaining him up to a Tyranitar right now. I don't even know what kind of level he is. Let me check it right now over here. Because we have been chilling with this Bebo for a while. Because we want to get him to level 100. He's level 80 right now. Which is pretty awesome. And as well you can see we got our Porygon, our rare over here as well. From the packaging. Which is pretty, pretty awesome. So those are going to be the updates for now. If there will be more guys, I'll keep you updated of course. Uh, I'll not do, I will not do like every single like very small update. Of course like as well. Uh, the last one has been the VIP text now above your head. Instead of the chat. Because it was causing a lot of ad lag issues. Of course there's more lag issues at the moment. Uh, regarding with mobile functions and mobile people trying to enter the game and lagging the game out. Uh, they're working really hard right now on that as well. They're working really hard on fixing the minigame. They're almost done with that as well. Uh, but they want to get the lag fixed before they do that. Which is pretty awesome. I'll try to keep you guys updated on that effect as well. But sadly, this star lag still chilling here. But it could like actually, uh, we could get maybe a uh, poke flute key item. Get the Snorlax away, maybe get Snorlax as, as a card, and then we can open up the new route to like a new city, new beach, where this theme, which we're running right here right now in the background, will be added to, which is going to be pretty, pretty awesome in my opinion. So guys, those are going to be the updates for Pokemon Party of, the, of today, uh, so for me it's the 18th of July. Of course, we'll be there for the next of this as well. Because that literally, I've played this game a lot, guys. I've played this game now over 30 hours at least already. Uh, probably even more. I don't even want to know how many hours I spent. Tonight as well, we'll be opening up a lot of packs. We'll be opening around 200 uncommon and rare packs in total, guys. And then the day after that, hopefully, we can get some ultra rares going. Which is going to be pretty, pretty awesome. So, guys, if you enjoyed this beautiful update video on Pokemon Party, be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And as well, hit that little notification button. And be sure to check out the game as well. It's an awesome game. I have a lot of fun. It's not my game. Not anything like that. Like, I don't like own any part of it or I don't make anything of it I just want to try to help out to make the game better and just cover it because I think it has such a uh, like such a large amount of potential even though like uh, there's a lot of hate on it because not everything is working right but it's all for guys like who, who cares who cares the mini games will be added soon everything will be fixed it's gonna be absolutely awesome so guys thanks so much for tuning in today I'll see you again tomorrow for a new video take care love you bye bye and thanks so much for watching